Let's help now. Hi guys, so I'm starting the vlog. Happy Sunday. Glenn's leaving to work. I'm sad. We haven't spent any time. He's been working a lot and then I was gone. And of course the days I'm gone, those were his days off. <laughs> so that's why I haven't really seen him. But today I need to organize my beauty room even more and then I need to head over to Target and grab some things that I need. I'm probably just gonna go like later at night. I think just when it's not that crowded because since Target is open until freaking midnight, which is crazy, I am so surprised they're open till midnight, like not on holiday hours, you know? But yeah, they're open till midnight, the best place ever. I honestly feel like shit right now though. Like I don't ever, ever want to eat Burger King ever again because I was just gonna eat something quick and then Glenn was going to the gym and since um, he had to go early because he's going to work, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go later. What time was it? It was like, what? 12.30. 12 12.30 and then last night I was really good because I went to the gym and I worked out so hard. I felt like nauseated and I honestly felt like I was about to throw up because that pre-workout is no joke. I think for me I can only handle half a scoop, not a full scoop because Glenn today he finally tried it and he was like, holy shit, it is strong. He was like, whoa, because he only planned on doing cardio, but he was like, I need to lift heavy today or else it's not going to be good because it really affected him. So if it affected him and he's someone where he can handle caffeine twice as much than over me, then yeah. I felt pretty sick yesterday, so I'm only going to start taking like half a scoop of it when I work out. But then afterwards I had sushi, so I ate really clean. And then... Then after 10 o'clock, I had like nothing, only Gatorade and water. So I was trying to do good, you know? But then, oh, but then I had like a couple lychee candies because I started feeling sick, like I needed some sugar, like my blood sugar was low. So I had like a couple candies. I feel like it was just like the pre-workout that was messing me up. And then today I woke up and I didn't eat until 12.30. And since I ate sushi earlier, like that digested so fast and I didn't have anything until 12.30. Then I was just like, I'm just going to grab something really quick, and I grabbed fast food. Ugh. Oh my gosh, the Burger King was so disgusting. Like, I feel gross. And I got full really fast because I was hungry. So you know how sometimes, like, your stomach, stomach shrinks because you waited long longer to eat? But we've been really bad where we won't eat our first meal. Like, the other day, I didn't eat my first meal until 3.30, you guys. 3.30. So bad to do that. Like, I'll eat, like, one big meal. I know it's wrong. Please don't lecture me. I know. Trust me. I had Burger King, and I feel absolutely disgusting. Like, I don't want it ever again. Like, so gross to me. Like, I did not like it at all. And I should have just gotten something. Like, if I'm ever going to have, like, fast food, I should probably just have, like, in and out um, when I do. But... I don't remember the last time we had fast food. That's the thing. So, I think because, like, we're eating pretty clean well I well when we went to Texas I had um um fried chicken with polenta and something else so the fried chicken obviously wasn't the best that's fattening but other than that we had like chicken salad and stuff so it wasn't bad but yeah I just don't feel good at all and I can't wait to hit the gym because I feel so gross like I need to sweat and just exercise and get this shit out of me because I'm not about it right now. I really want to go to the gym because I need to be more consistent. I have already like felt results, you know, um, just how I just feel, you know, in general. I don't feel sluggish. Um, I'm not lethargic or lazy, you know. It, I will say though, it is hard to stay consistent because it's just all about always going. But I want to be healthy. I don't want to be unhealthy and. And, you know, obviously, I everybody likes to, you know, indulge every once in a while. But that's the thing. I don't want to, like, I, I want to get out of a good habit of not eating a bunch of shit because, well, I haven't really been eating that much shit lately. What gets me, this is what gets me, margaritas, you guys. I'm obsessed with margaritas. Ugh, and they're so bad and so high in calorie. I literally can slam down five margaritas and I'm, like, the happiest. I mean, if you slam down five drinks of anything, who isn't the happiest? I've been trying to like cut back and like go more consistent, consistent, consistently to the gym because my body type is the type where um, obviously I have gained weight within the years, but um, before, you know, um, I was going to the gym so much when I was more thin, uh, I was going like five times a week and going hard. You know, but I don't know. If life goes on, you get more responsibilities, more stuff. But there's no excuse, so I want to be more consistent. Ha, huh, babe. Huh? Be more consistent. I've been be. I I've been more consistent in the gym, huh? Yeah. I've been going to work out without you now. That's good. So, <clears throat> yeah. 
And Glenn's been doing really well too. Like just seeing him go all the time has really been motivating me as well. And he's been having some really good results because my, my pan looks really good. I told him you look good. Thank you. And I want the... Hello. Are you going to miss me? Huh? Are you going to miss me? Ow. Yeah, hey, those are my toesies. You. Huh? I'm going to miss scaring you. It's not funny. Glenn scared me so much. I swear, you guys, I almost pissed myself. Actually, you're lucky I didn't have to, like, go poop or something because I would have shat myself. What? Remember that one time? Oh, no. You did it when I was getting out of the shower, huh? Or no, when I was naked about to get into the shower. That's when he likes to scare me when I'm naked. <laughs> pervert ass he just wants to see my freaking titties fly <laughs> and <laughs> and so he went and scared me and i almost started crying it was so remember i ducked down to the floor and i was trembling that's how scared i was i'm gonna do it better nick next time i told him shit at least film the shit i know that's what i'm gonna start doing no yeah it's not funny yeah no yeah you don't want to mess with me yeah i'll get you back so hard watch out Oh, Next you watch you're out. Taking a shower, you might see a face in your window. That's you can't even get up to the second story. Oh, so do you want me to slip in the tub and crack my head open? No, yeah, great that. husband, great husband. <laughs> I didn't say that, babe. You see how I react when I freak I out. Know. If you guys would see me, I'm like straight. Ooh, I'm like straight Spider Man. I'm like Whoa! against the wall. I'm no, it's not. It's not fun. All of a sudden, you're gonna hear. Here's my outfit. <laughs> you can hear. Hiya, Chachi. I'm gonna hear what? Hiya, Chachi. <laughs> oh, gosh. You're still on it. Hell yeah. He's cool. I wish I looked just like him. Stupid <laughs> Burger King. What'd we get? Our marriage license! Yay! So now we turn that one in, or no? No, this is it. They turn it in. Oh, how cool! Yay! Okay, guys, so I am on the first comment for the giveaway. And if you guys didn't know, I had a comment. I mean, I had a giveaway on my channel. And what I do is I just go through all the comments. And I'm just going to start scrolling, like, random. And this is how I'm going to pick the winner. I'm not sure where my finger will land, but that's who the winner will be. And I'm just gonna randomly do this. I do this quite a bit. I don't know why, I just wanna like make it fair because they scroll down quite a few. So let's just see who the winner is. And the winner is, boom, right there, whatever this one is. First, let me say I love watching your vlogs and beauty uh, videos. Also, thank you for giving back to your subscribers. My dream car, I don't really know, would have to be big enough for a family of five and a gas saver. And that was right there. K K R wait K R N T. So I'm gonna comment on you, and you won the giveaway. If you guys didn't know, I did a spontaneous giveaway. Woo spontaneous! She won. Let me bring you to my beauty room. She won the Lorac Pro Four right here so I have that for her and that is what she won I'm gonna do more giveaways because I have a box of a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna give you guys and yeah Whoop. so congrats you won I'm about to comment you won whoop, whoop. so just make sure that you contact me if you have Instagram I prefer Instagram just because I know that's you because I see the pictures I see that you've had an account and it's not some fake one that was just made up and someone pretending to be your name because that has happened in different giveaways and it's crazy so if you can do that if not um, email me and that would be wonderful so whoop. had to grab something to drink if you guys want to know what my favorite sparkling water is this Schweppes, Schweppes is one of them and Dasani black cherry all the way i love all the black cherry ones but this one's really good glenn hates this one he well he hates all my sparkling waters which is pretty good because that means i get them all but yeah i really like this one um i will say it does take getting used to when you drink sparkling water but it has definitely helped me curb my four soda because i love ginger ale and sprite more like citrusy like sodas i like the carbonation unfortunately i hate that but these are carbon car car these are carbonated so it helps me I always tell Glenn if you chug it faster it tastes better <laughs> excuse me <laughs> oh by the way I still have this and Glenn and I need to freaking do this I've had this for like freaking forever and we need to freaking do this so 
let me bring you to my mask section because you guys know I'm all about masks and I'm just obsessed. Okay, Sephora has some holiday sets out. You guys are going to think I'm crazy, but these are from last year. And I stocked up on these because they're $25, but they're a $33 value. And I always use face masks and yeah, um, I highly recommend them. So I bought... I have these two extra packs. I already used the other ones. And then I have two packs of these because I'm cray like that. I just stock up whenever there's a sale and I know I'm going to use it. Then I don't think it's a waste. So I've been using those. I already went through, you guys aren't even going to believe me, but like three boxes of those. I know I'm crazy. I'm crazy. This year, for some reason, I noticed people just jumped on like the whole mask thing. Let me just show you my mask. So at the top, I have all under eye masks. So these are all eye ones except I have like two lip. But these are my eye ones, and those ones go up there. These are, like, uh, all over the place. Okay, great. And then these are the Nug ones. These are really good. These are super equivalent to um, these ones right here, these sleep masks. So if you want, like, a little bit of a dupe, I'm not sure the price difference, but these ones you can get at Target. They're just more accessible. And then I have these Skin Iceland ones that I just saw the other day. I found them in my closet. I totally forgot to put them in my thing. Um, these ones are for the forehead and smile line, so I'm going to try these. And then I always pick up random ones from different stores, mainly um, Asian stores because uh, they have a lot of great skincare items. So if you've never tried Asian skincare, it's really good. I have some Sephora masks and then just different ones that... Um, companies have sent me but look these leader masks are really good probably one of my favorite ones that I've been sent the leaders I'm trying to find the one I thought I had it there was there's one where it's a subscription and then you get like a ton of different masks and then you get a discount so I've been trying out the Dr. Jart. Oh my gosh, these look so cool on the face. Maybe I'll do one tonight so I can show you guys. But I know I Snapchatted one or whatever before. These are the ones that like supposedly get the toxins out of your feet. I don't know. Me and Glenn like always do these randomly. Shoot, did I lose that paper? Because I know I put it in here. Hold on, let me look better. Okay, well, I am annoyed because I made sure to put that little coupon thing in there because I wanted to show you guys this because I just was organized my mask, mask the other night and I put that damn coupon code. I don't get anything from it. It's not an affiliate or anything, but it's from a thing called Face Tory, I think. Face Tory, yeah, like factory face tory. I don't know, but it's a subscription. So every single month you get, I think, seven different masks and I highly recommend masks. They do make a difference when you're consistent with them. I don't know where that went. I can contact them and ask them, but I know that they like slipped me in like a little coupon code for you guys, but I don't even see where that went. Oh God, did you guys hear my throat? How embarrassing. Mm. Sorry, I'll look for it because I swear I put it in here on purpose because I was like, well, I'm gonna show this, so I'm gonna put it at the top and now it's not there. That is so freaking strange. It's playing me. You guys, I am so happy. I found it. It was driving me insane how I couldn't find the little coupon code that I wanted to show you guys. Again, this is not affiliate. I get nothing from this. I just want to show you. Face tree. Mention code Lizzie20 for your subscribers to get 20% off their first box or kit. Right there. So if you guys are into face masks and you guys are into skincare and all that, and you want to try something fun, they give you a box full of different sheet masks from all over every single month, which is super fun. I recommend doing a mask at least once a week. Garnier Fructis. Fructis has a really good one and you can get it for $2.50. Thanks to you guys, I found that out from Walmart. $3 at Target. So it's a look, uh, think of it like as a little treat me, like spa day, like do it once a week, pick a day. Like I usually do a lot of stuff on Sundays. Some, well, no, I can't really say Sundays. I used to, but now my schedule's all weird ever since Glenn got his new job. Never mind. Pick a day where you're gonna just spoil yourself and you're like, I'm gonna do a mask. I want me time. I'm gonna sip on my iced coffee or juice or water or spa water, whatever you want to do, infuse water and just light a candle and relax. Ewok does the cutest little things and he like seriously breaks my heart every time just knowing what he probably went through before we saved him and everything. Ewok is super emotional. He has been calming down with his temper a lot and getting used to being picked up right away or kind of played with, you know what I mean? Like kind of like being hyper with him because sometimes he'd play but then he's like Rrr, like he's not sure how to react he his heart is growing every single day so look how cute so he has this little toy that he has in his bed and he basically like sleeps with it and it's so funny because he doesn't really pay too much attention to it but every now and then we notice he does things with it and look how cute 
he brought his toy and look how cute he brought his toy to sleep right next to him that toy was in his bed so he brought it out just to be right next to him because he doesn't like to be by himself he always like if i'm i'm usually up here most of the time just because my computer's in there and i'm editing beauty rooms right here so he likes to come upstairs with me i mean he hangs out with kujo and yepi all the time but he always likes like coming up here i don't know he's just i think he just finds comfort like look at him right now he just turned and he's just like probably staring at his little buddy like hey just laying down with my friend <laughs> uh oh you guys so i was upstairs cleaning my beauty room and still organizing it and it's getting dark so the time has come where I need to do something really major right now. <laughs> I'm making it a bigger deal than what it is. So I was trying on different makeup. You know I'm so sad. Like, oh my gosh, I was trying out a new BH Studio Pro and I thought it wasn't gonna be that pigmented and then bam, that happened. I was trying out some new products and um, this is like the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean lipstick, which I love. I am really sad. I bought those Dosa Colors lipsticks and they look like absolute shit on me. One of them that's called No Shade, I thought it was gonna be okay. I can probably wear it with the, I have to wear it with the lip liner, like a deeper one, because it is so, it like blanked out my lips. And then the No Creamer Please makes my teeth look yellow and it's like this yellowish brown. And to me, when I saw videos and swatches, the shit looks so pretty, very sad. The only one that I have that looks good on me is Hot Fire, and then I'm wearing the Midame, I always get tongue to it, Midame, um, Midame, sorry, um, highlight, which I love. It's really pretty. But I am so sad. The lipsticks that I really wanted, they look like shit. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to use them, but your girl needs to do something kind of drastic. I can't keep you guys like too, too low because I'm like trying to go like this because your girl isn't wearing a bra so we're gonna keep you right here i know what's new i said that in one video and then my friend anise is like girl what's new you if you guys haven't gotten it by now i do not like wearing bras and um i'm not even gonna lie to kick it with you guys i've been pretty interested i might be getting a consultation in the next one to two weeks for a breast lift because my girls need to be lifted they I mean, they don't go low, 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 but I mean, they are, they're not the highest, you know? And yeah, anyhow, <laughs> I'm still debating because that shit scares me and I've never done anything like that. I'm just curious, you know, because I've heard such, so many good results and stories and all that. Anyhow, let's get back to it. Oh no. See, I was talking to you guys and I got distracted by what I was telling you because I debated to tell you guys because I'm not really sure if I'm going to go through with it. And I did a full scoop. So this is a full scoop of the the Hyde, okay, the Mr. Hyde. My booty is only gonna do half a scoop and I'm gonna take it right now because this is where I'm saying like, your girl's gotta do, gotta make some moves. Your girl's gotta make some moves. What I am doing is putting some water. Take some drastic measures because I am feeling extremely lazy to go to the gym and now, The hell's out. Now I have to. Now that I took this major stuff, even though I did half a scoop, my booty has to get to the gym and that's what I'm gonna do to make myself. Because if I don't work out, I'm gonna feel sick. And Lizzie doesn't wanna feel sick. So, thank you Mr. Hyde. My ass has to go to the gym. This is what I had to do to myself. I had to just, I had to just crack the whip on myself and, and take that. So I'm gonna go change and get ready for the gym. <laughs> Even though I don't really want to go and you guys the hardest part of the gym is getting there And we all say that and it's true once I'm there. I'm like, oh my gosh. I feel so good I'm so lazy I think because I've been cleaning so much and trying to organize and I'm thinking of videos I want to do um, So yeah See this This is what I want to do Okay guys, I'm back from the gym and I'm feeling bomb. So bomb. So I worked out for an hour and 23 minutes and I have active calories, calories, 574, 732. So 
I took a picture of my watch. Half a scoop works good for me. I could have maybe done a little bit more, but I don't want to push it. So I'm just going to keep the half a scoop because I want to play it safe. Um, but yeah, I feel good. Whew, oh my gosh. My whole sweater is like soaking wet. So you guys know earlier today, like I was talking about how disgusted like I felt after the Burger King. I still feel so disgusted from eating eating it that, well eating half of it, um, that I, I honestly got, okay, this is what's, what's up with. When I get really grossed out or sick or something from food, from a certain something, I will not eat it, like at all. And I'm actually pretty happy that I did not like Burger King today and that it grossed me out so much that I never wanna eat it ever again. One example is I got food poisoning from Panda Express one time and it just grossed me out so much just thinking like, oh my gosh, how whatever was handled or whatnot. I haven't had Panda Express that happened like two and a half years ago and I still haven't ate it. So I'm happy that this happened when Burger King because that means I will not eat it. Like I know they say never say never, but I'm pretty sure your girl's not gonna be touching that shit ever again for like a long time. It was so gross. Like I can't stop telling Glenn how gross it made me feel. It really messed me up. So um, I just felt so like, eh, like full of grease or something. I don't know. So yeah, if I ever want a hamburger, in and out is gonna be be it or like somewhere where it's just more fresh. So I ended up going to El Pollo Loco. I just got a chicken meal with rice and beans. Let me show you what it looks like. So I got chicken, rice and beans, nice and clean, no BS. Um, yeah, so I'm glad. And then I got a Powerade or no, Power, what? Yeah, Powerade, no not Powerade. Uh, vitamin water zero so that's what I got Whew, I'm gonna eat this and that's probably gonna be it I mean I was supposed to go to Target today but I was just doing other things and just cleaning my room hey guys so I actually decided that I would get all dolled up and get ready and I'm actually gonna go out and go get wasted just kidding I totally forgot that I have a campaign it's just gonna be on Instagram not on YouTube so your girl had to put a full face of makeup and oh my god like I tried a new contour powder palette from bare minerals the shittiest palette I've ever tried you guys I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like gray marks I had to like wipe it off it was like the last like the last thing I already set my face everything was looking good I'm like oh let me contour a bit let me try this it was the last thing I did and it ruined all my makeup, like right there. So your girl's gonna be adding some filters to her Instagram so that that is hidden. You see how that camera like hides that? But it's, see, a gray line. I'm gonna show you the palette when I go upstairs right now. Uh, but yeah, it's just crazy. It is just, I couldn't believe how shitty it was. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to a kid's birthday party too. Tart sent over a pinata with like different things inside. Look, let's see if you guys can see that, see? I had to wipe that shit off. Um, and <laughs> yeah, they were like super extra in their PR package. <laughs> I swear, some brands go so hard. And they gave us a pinata with candy inside to um, celebrate their birthday or something like that. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty cool, but <laughs> yeah. Um, let me show you the palette before I forget because so all of you guys can avoid to buy it. You See, you see that line right there? <laughs> I literally wiped it with this makeup wipe. All that shit is contour. Muddy. Mud city. Right here. Bare Minerals Bare Pro Contour. So I put in the contour. Then next, I try to blend it out and that's when all hell broke loose. I didn't even get to pop. <laughs> I didn't get to pop. So I'm gonna try it again with uh, a different brush because I tried their brushes with it and it was pretty bad. This brush, what is this, the Lux Performance Bare Minerals? Did not like it. Um, it wasn't blending anything out. Where's the other one? I think I tossed it because I literally was freaking out and I'm like, okay, I am already putting on full blown makeup at like 11 p.m. I mean, which is the cool part about this is that I can work at any hour, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to be up at like one in the morning still trying to take this picture and all that because of some stupid, thing so and i also tried out the where is it oh milani conceal on perfect two in one and warm beige that's what i have on right now honestly not impressed whatsoever so i don't even know what the rave reviews were it's pretty thick and when i blended it out it's like it's thick but then it's not even full covered so it's like what's the big deal about it i don't know i'm not a fan of this whatsoever i'll try it again i'll try it out but yeah i'm 
I'm not impressed already just by first application. Um, moral of the story, kids, avoid this. Ow, that kind of hurt. <laughs> avoid this palette. <laughs> Oh, but can we appreciate how your girl has some color on her eye, some turquoise. Um, you guys can't tell that I have some red and black blended out on the sides, uh, peachy tone, some brown. So yeah, I used a teal color and I actually really like it. I really like the way this look um, turned out because it's wearable. This is the new BH Studio Pro. They sent it over to me. I've never tried this out. Ultimate Artistry Shadow Palette. These are not names, which I appreciate because ain't nobody got time to be like knowing all these names. It's just saying like what finish they are. So when they're on top, it just says like matte, shimmer, metallic. And that's pretty cool because then there's like a bunch of things you can be like, oh, okay, now next grab like a matte purple. So, you know, people know what the finish is and all that. And I like how they explain. Um, see, creamy matte's perfect for depth and blending. I like how they're explaining everything, and I think it's very user-friendly. This is why I love BH, and I don't F with Morphe. Uh, there's just too much drama <laughs> too much drama behind Morphe. Uh, I'm not one to kind of just go with what everybody's saying, but it's like when there's so much gossip and drama on Morphe and brushes just like crap and all that, I mean... I will say I like a couple of their brushes. I would say I like about eight to 10 of their brushes and that's it. Other than that, I'm ride or die with Sigma and I actually really like the BH Cosmetics brushes. They've been stepping it up. And I know why influencers don't talk about BH because they're not paying influencers directly thousands and thousands of dollars to promote them and yeah, and the affiliate program won't pay them so much money like that either. And Morphe's popping and they're gonna go where it's popping because they want their paycheck popping. And I totally get it. I get you need to make money and all of that, but at the same time, hey, don't knock the other brands, you know? Which is why I stick to BH. Um, I love BH. So this is the shade I used on my eye. Uh, I used this one right here. I dipped into like this reddish brown and then I dipped into the black. Uh, what else did I use? Yeah, but this one feels so silky. Like, the quality is so good. I'm not going to go into that because I'm going to do videos on this one, but I'm highly impressed by this palette. Personally, I think it's amazing. I think it's really good. I love BH Cosmetics. I think they have a ton of freaking sales. I know people complain about, oh yeah, but it's not free shipping until blah, 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 but... With the discount on all that, it's worth it in the end. You could still use Ebates and then you can get money and cash back. Um, there's a ton of stuff. They always have good deals. And yeah. And I feel like BH is like the type of brand where it's like they're going to bring something out and it's not going to be all of a sudden sold out. And they're like, oh, don't worry. We're going to have our new launch in two months and like have all these people like die and crave and like, you know, bite their lips for it. And then all of a sudden bring it out again, which is what I feel like Morphe does. And I totally get it. You need to sell blah, 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 all that. But I don't know. I'm just not with it with Morphe. If I am going to promote Morphe, I don't want an affiliate code with them. I don't know why. Just... I'm not about, I'm like, mm -mm. I'm just personally not about the brand. Just seeing how money hungry and all the people behind the brand are, it makes me not want to be associated with that. So, yeah. So, if I would promote Morphe, I would actually promote it through Ulta to get through the Ulta site. Plus, with Ulta, you can make returns. Say you don't want something. They still have coupon codes, 20% offs here and there randomly, but they always have the $5 off 15. And i rather promote through Ulta than go through their site and all of that because, yeah, I just find it more professional and all that. But I got into a whole nother thing. I got to get going because your girl's got to um, take my picture and all that. So, and do like... Like boomerang and stuff and yeah it's due tomorrow 9 a.m. I mean I could have gone and woken up early but I don't really feel like wearing full-blown makeup at 9 in the morning I don't know if you guys have noticed but I've been wearing uh, more natural makeup so yeah I mean don't get me wrong I will never ever stop glamming myself up because I love glam getting you know whoops, ah, getting all put together and all that I love it but just some days it's like I just want to chill on it and just be more natural and fresh and not always be, you know, cake face and all that. So, <sighs> okay. Bye. I am super tired right now. Um, I was trying to get like a good picture and boomerang and it actually took way longer than what I thought it was going to take. Um, I'm pretty tired right now just because I have been going super hard at the gym. I'm trying to get on it. Even tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to go tomorrow. 
Oh, but I'm excited because we're going to go to Benihana and celebrate Glenn's birthday. And we have the free birthday certificate that we always do for each other's birthday. So we're going to do that. So that's super exciting. And uh, I want to test out the new Beige Cosmetics foundation for my new Wednesday Whoop or Womp. So yeah. All right, guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel. If you're not subscribed, what the heck are you doing? Also, don't forget to click that little notification bell so you guys get notified whenever I upload new videos or else if you don't click it, you ain't with it. And that means you will always see my videos whenever it uploads on YouTube. So, like, can you totally, like, click that bell? Like, oh my god. I know I kind of already sound like that, but yeah. All right. Bye!